Greetings and uh, welcome everybody watching this today. My name is Nolan Crooks. I work at Teen Challenge and I'm honored to be here with you guys today as we enter this new year. And let's get right into it today. We're continuing our series in 2 Timothy 2. Today I'm going to be teaching on 2 Timothy 2 verses 8 through 13. The kind of a title for today's teaching is Living with the End in Mind. Um, Our text is a continuation from your series last week with Pastor Larry. Thank you for that. That was great. Verse 8. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here's a trustworthy saying. If we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. For if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Lord, would you bless the reading of your word and what you may what you want to say today come through me in Jesus' name. Amen. The first three words, and I would say that this is make this your mantra, make this your mission for 2021, remember Jesus Christ. I'm reminded of what the prophet Jeremiah, uh, when he looks over the, the desolation of Jerusalem, and this is what he said in Lamentations, and maybe you feel like this. I remember my affliction and my wandering. The bitterness and the gall, I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait, I will wait for Him. That's from Lamentations 3, verses 19 through 24. Remember Jesus Christ. We're going to continue on in that thought. Uh, The really interesting part of what Jeremiah did is he's looking over Jerusalem after it's been destroyed because of the sins of the people of Israel. He's looking over this, the disaster, the destruction, and maybe for you 2020 kind of looks like that. You kind of look back and you see nothing but destruction and desolation uh, and absence of hope. But Jeremiah didn't do that. He said, yet this I call to mind. It's a choice. It's a decision to think about the Lord, to think about everything he's done for you, to think about how he made a way when there seemed to be no way. In your hour of need, I challenge you to call to mind Jesus Christ. Remember him. He's your ever-present hope in time of trouble. He's the promise keeper. He's always faithful. He's the chain breaker. He's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. He is the mighty God. He is the hope giver. He's your savior and he's your friend. He is Jesus Christ. Um, I mentioned that I work for Teen Challenge. And when I was a student back in Teen Challenge, we have a traveling choir that used to go to churches. And uh, we've suspended that due to COVID. And there was a song we sang when I was a student. And it was called, When I Think About the Lord. And I was reminded of that song in my preparation. And the chorus went, When I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up and turned me around, He placed my feet on solid ground. It makes me want to shout. And I just thought in verse 8, it says, Remember Jesus Christ. Think about what He's done for you. Um, I was driving to work uh, one day a few months ago, and I don't know if you're like me, but I was getting close to the Teen Challenge campus, and I was just feeling overwhelmed. I couldn't pinpoint exactly where the distress and the frustration in my spirit was coming from, but in that moment, I just felt, I felt the Lord lead me to just start talking with Him. I don't exactly remember the specifics of what I said, but, or what I said, but I remember how I ended the dialogue. I said, I don't expect you to just make this go away or that my frustrations would simply disappear. All I ask is that you're with me in them. 
And after I said those words, my car filled with the presence of God. And I knew that God had just responded to my prayer by sending the one thing I asked of him, his very presence. And I share this as a reminder to you today that Jesus is alive. He was raised from the dead and he is there for you. And isn't that what we desire deeply? To know that God really is alive, that he's close, that he's mighty to save. I know I'm only 31, but every truth found in scripture resonates across the globe, across the ages of time, because each and every person on the planet was masterfully crafted in their mother's womb, in the image of God. You were created with purpose and you can find truth in God's word. C.S. Lewis, he was one of my favorite authors. He said this, he said, if we find ourselves with the desire that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that we were made for another world. Verse 9 in 2 Timothy 2 says, For which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal, but God's word is not chained. Uh, the word suffer there in the Greek has this idea of being afflicted, of suffering trouble. The greatest encouragement in suffering is that Jesus Christ promises to be with you, to be with me in these times. Being a Christian and suffering are ideas that cannot be separated. You can't have a fire without smoke. The late, great Ravi Zacharias said this about suffering. Through the process of suffering, you realize how finite you are and how desperately you need the very presence of God to carry you through. The end of verse 9 says that God's word is not chained. And although Paul, he wrote this, he was most likely in chains. He'd been in prison many times. He, that was the, the hallmark of his life was that he'd preach the gospel, he'd get arrested, he'd be in chains. And he says God's word is not chained. This speaks to the eternal power of God's word to act upon a human heart, to soften the callousness of a stubborn and rebellious heart. You can close churches, you can censor and silence pastors and ministers, but nothing can stop the Word of God. It is the insuppressible force, and you can always trust His Word. It is infallible. It will never fail you. Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah said this in chapter 55, verse 11, in speaking of God's Word. He said, So is my Word, God's Word, that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Isn't that awesome that you can always trust God's word? Verse 10 says, Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they may too obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Paul, or Paul said, I endure everything. And the, in the Greek, that word endure has this idea of to stay under, to bear trials, to have fortitude, to persevere, patient endurance. Paul had an unwavering, unwavering fully committed, spirit-empowered, laser-focused grasp of what he was fighting for. Souls, people, moms, dads, sons, daughters, prodigals, his enemies, those he would never meet. He was focused on loving people. Someone told me years ago, if you want to touch the heart of God, love his people. Paul said, I endure everything. Verse 11 says, here's a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will also live with him. You can't live with him unless you've died with him. Paul said something in Romans 6 that I want us to take a look at real quick. In Romans 6, verses 4 through 7, he said, that We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we've been united with him in a death like his, we will also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know, this is the best, one of my favorite verses in all of scripture. Paul said, for we know that if our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin, the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. I would imagine most of us watching today, if we're honest, we have an old self, the person we used to be your before Christ self. You might even feel today that the old self has taken the place of your new self this past year. I know that 2020 brought a lot of ch 
challenges, heartaches, anxiety, things that we'd never experienced before. It could have brought up old habits, thought patterns, behaviors could have crept in slowly, and maybe you feel like this is who I am now. I'll never be the person that God wants me to be. I'm unable to do what I know that He wants me to do. I'm not skilled at being the hands and feet of Christ. My scars are too deep. God can't use my life. Does He know who I am? I'm scared. There's something very interesting that happens when someone gets a limb removed and becomes an amputee. Uh, 60 to 80 percent of amputees actually experience this. It's called phantom limb syndrome. It's where you feel like, even though if you've had an arm amputated, you can still feel like your arm is part of your body. I propose to you today that when you make the decision to follow Jesus, to pursue a righteous life, to be a messenger of hope, you can experience what I call phantom old self syndrome. Jesus Christ has made you a new person. Your past has been washed in His blood. Your sins have been forgiven, past, present, and future, but you still sometimes feel like the old you. Your sin nature has been amputated and removed, but it still feels like it's there, like you haven't changed. Be encouraged today in this. Jesus Christ took your past He nailed it to the cross. He takes your present and promises to be with you wherever you go. And He takes your future and promises that He has plans for you and that they are good and that they are plans filled with hope. The last part of verse 13 says, If we endure, we will also reign with Him. If we disown Him, He will also disown us. If we are faithless, He remains faithful, for He cannot disown Himself. God is faithful. He can be trusted You can trust Him. He's faithful. Um, I mentioned I work for Teen Challenge. I work in the video uh, production department. Every Monday on our Southern California Teen Challenge social media channels, we have kind of a a video message from our executive director. They're short, 60 to 70 seconds. We call them New Life with Ron Brown episodes. And one of my colleagues wrote this for one of the episodes. I wanted to share it with you as we close. The thief who comes to steal, kill, and destroy also knows the importance of memories. He constantly reminds us of our shortcomings, our sins, in hopes that we will believe they are too great to be covered by God's forgiveness. But the truth is that God has already covered our sins in a vast sea of forgetfulness. So I'm asking you now to store these two things in your mind. Remember them. Don't forget what God wants you to remember, and don't remember what God has already forgotten. Remember Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word that reminds us uh, that we can think of you at all times, that you'll be uh, close to us, that we can endure all things with your help and with your power, And I pray that anybody watching today that made a decision to to trust you more, to put their faith and their hope in your salvation that you offer, Lord, would you confirm that to them in their spirit right now? And I pray for anybody who watched this dealing with discouragement, anxiety, fear, would you come in, God, by your spirit? Remind them that you're there for them. Have your way today. God, give us fresh vision for this year as we go into it and help us to always think of you and help us to forget what you've already forgotten. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.